Rodolfo. I'm certainly no expert in these matters, but when I was in Spain, I often witnessed the young caballeros in fencing class. Uh, watch. Now, when they would thrust thusly, they would keep the right knee bent and both feet flat on the ground, with the weight slightly forward. Evidently, this allows the fencer to move quickly in either direction, either backwards or forward. And the better to parry your opponent's blade. Well, <laughs> I did that rather well for an amateur, don't you think? Let me try it again. Considering your age and your inexperience, it would certainly be no dishonor for you to refuse to fight Senor Murieta. I would not be able to hold my head up again. You are worried that Maria would be ashamed of you. Is that it? That is partly the reason. I think you do the Senorita injustice. Even so. Would not her shame be preferable to her sadness at your funeral? It is not only what Maria would think, it is what I would think of myself. Don Diego, do you still agree to act as my second? If you wish. Then I expect to see you at the appointed place at dawn. I will be there. Hasta mañana. Well, Bernardo, it seems that our young friend is determined to die at dawn. What can we do? Yes, this is a job for Zorro. by many names, but you can call me Zorro. What are you doing here in my room? Let us say that uh, I'm an unofficial greeter, that I've come to tell you what the stranger might expect when he comes to Los Angeles. Now, we have a glorious country here. The sun shines every day, the air is sweet and clean, fruit grows on every tree, and is yours for the picking. On the other hand, senor, you might say that I came here to give you some advice. It's easy to give advice at the point of a sword. Since arriving here, you have insulted a young lady of our community. And you have acted the part of a coward in challenging an inexperienced youth to a duel with you. You call me a coward? You hear me well. Let me cross swords with you, senor Zorro, and we shall soon see which is a coward. Oh, as you wish.
your hat, senor. I'm no coward, senor. Do as you wish. I believe I shall save you, senor. For another time. Senor! You must not fight this man. I am sorry, senorita. Please, you must not do this thing. He might kill you. Rodolfo, there is much wisdom in what the senorita says. Please, I would always feel responsible for your death. Don Diego, you are uh, Don Rodolfo's second? I am. As senor Murieta's second, I am the bearer of bad news. Oh? Of uh, what nature, senor? He has injured his hand and is unable to wield the sword. Oh, that is indeed tragic news. Uh, just how did the accident occur? Oh, he cut himself while trimming his mustache. Don Rodolfo, you have heard it is impossible for Senor Morietta to meet with you on the field of honor. He apologizes for inconveniencing you, Senor, and his apologies to you, Senorita. Ha, 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 ha. 